Here we want to find all values of x that are not in the domain, and if there's more than one value, separate it with commas. And our function is f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 9. Note that this is a fraction, and when we talk about domain, we're talking about any x's that we are allowed to plug into the function where we don't get an error or some type of an issue with the solution. Well, on the numerator, I can plug in any x I want. I can do negatives and positives and zero, and it always will work out. The denominator will also always give you an answer when you plug in any number for x. The problem comes from division. If I try to do zero, if I have zero cookies, and I have five friends, and I try to split that up, each friend gets zero cookies. So zero divided by five is zero. But let's say I have five cookies and no friends. <laughs> How do you split that up? That doesn't even make sense. That's undefined. So we cannot divide by zero when we see a fraction. So the issue comes from the denominator. The denominator cannot be zero. Now if you have an algebraic expression, sometimes you have to factor it. So x squared minus 9 is a difference of two squares. It has the pattern of a squared minus b squared, and that factors into the groups a plus b times a minus b. So x squared minus 9 is going to factor as x plus 3 and x minus 3. And if you set those factors equal to 0, you get x cannot be negative 3 and x cannot be positive 3. So if we plugged in 3, we would get 3 squared minus 9. That would give us a 0. Also, negative 3 squared minus 9 would give us a 0. So both of these are restricted from the domain. In our next example, we have g of x is equal to x minus 5 divided by x minus 9 times x plus 7. Again, because it's a fraction, we cannot divide by 0. So it doesn't matter that we have an x on top. It's OK to have 0 on top. The denominator is where we see the issues. This one's already factored. So I just want to find out what are the values for x that make these little groups become 0. So if you set x minus 9 equal to 0, you would add 9. So x cannot equal positive 9. And then for the x plus 7 group, if you solve that little equation, you would get x cannot be negative 7. So this function has two restricted values, and they are negative 7 and 9.